So another week has passed and again we've got more information about the upcoming iPhone 12. We've got new details about the charging port, more renders, display info, camera details and more. Before we get into it though please like the video if you're looking forward to the iPhone 12 and let me know in the comments what model you want the most. So the first bit of news about the iPhone 12, while not directly about the smartphone, it's great news that Apple are getting back on track. Apple plans to reopen 100 more retail stores in the USA and it's already began opening them from the 11th of May. So it's great that things are slowly getting back to normal, but it's also important to mention that it's only going to be curbside assistance and collection, so customers are not going to be able to enter the store. But next we've got news about the Apple iPhone 12's charging port. It's something that's quite often in my comment section, but it hasn't been addressed on this channel. There are many rumors out there that Apple are going to switch to USB Type-C as they have done with some other devices, or that it will be the first portless phone and that's just incorrect. Apple fans can be happy that they will not need new peripherals as the Apple iPhone 12 is going to be keeping the lightning port. The information comes from Leaker Fudge on Twitter and he states that the USB-C prototypes aren't making it to production. So we've got another year of lightning port and it's expected that next year will be portless and use smart connectors instead. The information has also been backed up by reliable analyst Ming Chi Kuo who stated that the 2021 iPhone is going to be a completely wireless experience experience. And while we're on the subject of the iPhone 12 successor, we also had a leak from Fudge that shows the 2021 iPhone camera setup. Now this is of course very early for such a leak, but it shows us four cameras and a LiDAR sensor. This does seem the logical step and it's reportedly a 64 megapixel wide angle, a 40 megapixel telephoto with 5 times optical zoom, a 60 megapixel anamorphic lens and a 40 megapixel ultra wide, then of course the additional LiDAR sensor. While this information may be reliable, it's important to note that at this stage it's not finalized, so even if it is their plan right now, there's a good chance that things will change. We also had a tweet yesterday from John Prosser who hints at a leak, but he hasn't announced it yet, so I don't know if he was going to announce this or it was something else entirely. But anyway, back to the iPhone 12, there's been many disagreements regarding the display in my comment section due to different leakers saying different things. As we covered last time, John Prosser stated that the two smaller iPhone 12 models are going to be using displays from BOE, and the two more premium iPhone 12s are going to be from Samsung. Ross Young however states that Samsung are going to be making the display for the iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max, leaving BOE with just one phone. Given that Ross Young is CEO of Display Supply Chain Consultants, you have to assume that he may have a bit of an idea when it comes to displays. A new report from DigiTimes actually states that Samsung are producing 80% of overall panel orders for the Apple iPhone 12, leaving 20% to BOE and LG. So it's most likely that it's going to be a Samsung OLED on the 5.4 inch iPhone 12. On the 6.1 inch iPhone 12 Max, we'll have OLED panels manufactured by BOE and LG. LG, and the two premium models again are going to be Samsung OLEDs. Apparently LG are also going to be doing the bulk of the non-Samsung display, manufacturing 18 to 23 million panels, while BOE are said to be manufacturing at just 2 million. This does seem likely as LG have reportedly won the contract for the camera modules of the premium iPhone 12s as well. For those who want to improve Siri, we also have news that Apple have just purchased Inductive Inc, a machine learning startup. This is of course to improve Siri and its speech recognition, Apple have actually acquired several other AI and data companies to make these improvements happen. Now for those of you that want the detailed specs for each device, we've already had the information on all four models of the iPhone 12. For my regular viewers, you guys have already seen this, so just skip to the next video, but if you're new here, then don't forget to hit subscribe and we'll get right into it. So to start with, we've got the entry level model of the Apple iPhone 12 and this is of course going to be called the iPhone 12. It's a 5.4 inch iPhone with an OLED Super Retina display from Samsung. Now it's important to note straight off the bat that Super Retina means absolutely nothing so don't get too caught up on that. But it's going to be an OLED display at a resolution of 2340 by 1080 which gives us 475 pixels per inch and it has an 8-bit color depth. While there have been rumors 
of all models having a 120Hz display, unfortunately this model is 60Hz only. It's going to be equipped with 4GB of RAM and a choice of 128 or 256 storage and it's made of an aluminium body and of course uses the A14 Bionic with 5G support. The iPhone 12 comes with a dual camera setup on the rear and it will of course be shipping with iOS 14. For those of you that want the iPhone 12 with 4 gigs of RAM and 128 storage, it's going to be launching at $649. If you want 4 gigs of RAM and 256 storage, it's $749. Next up, we've got the iPhone 12 Max. To be clear, this is the Max and not the Pro Max. The iPhone 12 Max has a 6.1 inch OLED display. This is again a Super Retina OLED display, but provided by Chinese manufacturer BOE. It comes with a resolution of 2532 by 1170, and this gives us 460 pixels per inch, and it has an 8-bit color depth. We get 4 gigs of RAM and a choice of 128 or 256 storage and of course the iPhone 12 Max is powered by the A14 Bionic chip. It's in an aluminium body, it's got 5G connectivity and we get another dual camera setup on the rear. For those of you that want the 128 gig version of the iPhone 12 Max, it's going to be launching at $749 and if you want the 256 gig version it rises to 849 Next up, we've got the iPhone 12 Pro. The iPhone 12 Pro has a 6.1 inch display, so it's actually the same size as the iPhone 12 Max, but we've got an improved display and specs. On the iPhone 12 Pro, we've got a 6.1 inch Super Retina display with ProMotion and a 10 bit color depth. The display is manufactured by Samsung and it's got a resolution of 2532 by 1170, which gives us 460 pixels per inch, and it is, of course, a 120 Hz display. The iPhone 12 Pro comes with 6 gigs of RAM and a choice of 128, 256 or even 512 internal storage. It of course ships with Apple's A14 Bionic and the iPhone 12 Pro is 5G compatible. It comes in a stainless steel body and on the rear we get a triple camera setup along with a LiDAR sensor for the depth. For the 128 gig iPhone 12 Pro, it's launching at $999. For 256 gigs, it's $1,099. And for those that want the 512 gig iPhone 12 Pro, it's $1,299. Last but not least, we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The iPhone 12 Pro Max comes with a 6.7 inch OLED display. Again, it's a Super Retina with ProMotion, 10 bit color depth, and of course, it is manufactured by Samsung. It's got a resolution of 2778 by 1284, giving us 458 pixels per inch, and again, it's a 120 Hz display. It comes with 6 gigs of RAM and a choice of 128, 256, or 512 storage. It's in a stainless the sill body and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is of course powered by the A14 Bionic with 5G support. Just like the iPhone 12 Pro, we get a triple camera setup on the rear along with the additional LiDAR sensor. For those of you that want the 128 gig iPhone 12 Pro Max, it's launching at $1,099. If you want the 256 gig version, it's $1,199. And for those that want the most expensive in the range, the 512 gig iPhone 12 Pro Max, it's launching at a whopping $1,399. Of course,